Hello YouTube. I just wanted to make a quick video on a subject that's uh, been bothering me for a little while. Um, I was hanging out on a, another channel here and someone accused the channel owner of uh, removing their comments. And um, something that I've been seeing for a long time now is indeed comments are coming up missing, but it's not in every case the channel owners removing the comments um, I know people have made reference to that many times and um, I've had the same thing happen to me um, that said there are cases where <clears throat> supposed Christians are indeed removing comments and not admitting it or copying to it until proven that they've done it um, so, you know, I'm not getting notifications, I'm not getting, uh, uh, you know, all my comments posted, comments will be showing on one browser, not another, so th there's just a lot of things going on. One of the comments that this other channel owner made was a dirty little trick of YouTube, and I think they hit it, hit the nail on the head, because it does seem like, uh, somebody out there is deliberately trying to cause dissension within the body and uh, you know everybody is certainly free to have their own opinion and um, you know that's what we're supposed to do is examine the word and swap data and information and try to get to the truth and you know sometimes you'll have those subjects that you just won't agree on regardless but you still need to respect another person's point of view as long as they express it in a polite, you know, manner. Um, no lying, no cussing, no name calling, and all that. Uh, now, you know, that said, if, if somebody comes and attacks me, I'll slap them back upside the head. I, I don't have a problem with that. And then there's those in the body that you know, will try to say that you're not being Christian or that's not Christ-like behavior, you know. Well, you know, these uh, YouTube channels, <laughs> in, effect, in, in effect, are a church for a lot of people. I mean, a lot of us don't go to, you know, churches with walls and roofs these days. And uh, so this is our place of fellowship. So, um you know, that being said, we, we uh, need to, you know, kind of control who's coming in, who's going out, and, and identify those that are there just to cause dissension and grief. <clears throat> also, we need to watch for, you know, Jezebels, people that slide in and try to make, uh, you know, friends with the channel owner, and they're secretly jabbing and poking the other members and the channel owner's you know, sometimes can't see that. I see that a lot. Um, you know, test those spirits. But um, another thing I see is, you know, trolls coming on, making some of the r most rude, offensive comments imaginable, and a channel owner's tolerating it, not banning and not removing the comments. Um, you go to my channel, you won't see cussing, you won't see swearing. And, uh, I, you know, I will take different points of view um, and, and allow those posts to stand as long as they're done in a, you know, polite, courteous manner. Um, you know, I may give my opinion on why I don't feel the comment is, is legit or accurate, but, you know, I'm not there to remove someone else's opinion, again, unless they're, they're rude. But there are those that in order to promote their own agenda uh, will make up lies and say that you know you were rude uh, and ban you without warning uh, I recently had that happen to me on Jonathan Kleck's channel after years of supporting the guy I mean if you look at what he's done with the Twin Towers and um, you know some of the things coming out of the Vatican and 
all that. I mean, his data, I feel, is dead on and accurate. But then he's running around, you know, promoting that Eve had sex with the serpent, a.k.a. Satan. And, uh, you know, we're all part of the serpent seed doctrine, which is just ludicrous because uh, he's trying to say that, uh, you know, Cain was the product of a sexual union between Satan and Eve when Genesis 4.1 clearly says, and Adam knew his wife Eve and she conceived and bare Cain. I mean, what could be more clear than that? But, um, and then he makes up this lie and says, I'm rude and brutus and kicks me off the channel, no warning etc etc and um, uh, removes my comments but you know, the good thing is I had actually saved the comments I did videos and I, and I proved he's lying of course he doesn't have the guts and the courage to admit his mistake and what's even worse is the cronies on the channel that have been misled they're not standing up for the truth either so that's a real concern for me is we're supposed to seek the truth you know, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And um, if we're in Christ, then we're supposed to be lovers of the truth. Yet, who's fighting for the truth? So, not many of us. So, I just wanted to address that. Um, also, um, you know, where's the church? Where's the church and all this stuff going on? I mean... You know, the politicians have totally corrupted the situation in the states. And, you know, the world just hates us. And we have so many enemies out there now. It's, it's just ridiculous. And I've been telling people for years that, you know, I think America is going to burn. I think America is Mystery Babylon. And I think she's going to burn in one hour. I've got a website and a page on that website that says flee Babylon and I think if possible you should flee Babylon because I think she's going down in flames pretty soon but you know this video is really not about that but uh, getting back to the comments um, if you've got trolls on your channel uh, channel owners please ban the trolls I mean I was on a live chat a week ago or so and there's somebody on there saying the most rude vile evil things about our Lord Jesus Christ and people were yelling at the channel owner you know to ban a guy and he just kept going on and on and on and on, and on. finally I just before the guest came on I had to bail because I was getting pretty you know upset over it so you know you have a duty and a responsibility to run a a clean tight ship and uh, it's not about views it's not about money it's about truth in my reality anyway and um, so I would just like to uh, you know bring that to your attention and point that out that uh, you know call a lie a lie and congratulate those people that are telling the truth and support everything with scriptures, test the spirits, and, um, you know, do our do your best to make YouTube a community that, you know, people want to uh, come to, to get knowledge that they won't get in most churches today. I mean, most, most churches won't teach about death and hell. And, uh, you know, because that doesn't... Uh, make people want to dig into their pocket and give up the ties and so they want to make you you know feel good about yourself and you know the church isn't being fed you know how, how much milk can you drink you got to get into the meat so um with that you know i've also noticed on my videos my view counts have, have gone way 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 down yet my subscribers go up 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 and um, I'll get notifications you know people have posted comments but yet on Google Plus there'll be no no uh, 
you know, one, one plus or, or Google plus thumbs up or whatever you call it. Um, yet I get all kinds of comments. So and so has, you know, plus one your your comment. Yet they never ever 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 reflect, almost never, on my Google Plus account. So, you know that that's a clear indication that the deck is being stacked. It's clear as day. Also, one final comment is understand that the web, even though there's good things on the web. Um, and there's all kinds of data available that the web is a tool of Satan and I know that may come to a shock to you but um, just kind of hear me out you know God is omnipresent he knows your thoughts the Bible says not even a sparrow falls to the ground without him knowing it. Um, it it also talked about Jesus knowing what was in the heart of man and their, you know people's thoughts Satan doesn't know that. So, you know, he th has uses tools like Facebook and all these different social medias where people just post their whole lives, thoughts, who their friends and family are and everything on there. So, you know, he'll, he'll know his enemy. He'll be able to determine who he has wrapped around his finger and, and who's fighting against him. So... Um, you know, just kind of keep that in mind that the World Wide Web is indeed a web. And the enemy knows who you are. You know, they monitor your posts. They monitor your phone calls. They monitor everything. I mean, that's your text messages, everything. Which is, you know, to be honest, okay with me. Because maybe some of them that are monitoring might learn the gospel and get saved. So, with that... I just wanted to uh, bring that to your attention, and uh, it looks to me like we are indeed in the last days. I know a lot of people are running around rapture, 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 and, and I'm not, you know, hammering the rapture folks. I just don't think uh, it's going to happen until the last day, um, and uh, I think a lot of people use that as a grabber because most of us do want to get out of here. And um, so they use that to, to get views. But um, a comment I just made to a fella, he made a couple comments on it. And uh, I said, well, you know, if a generation is 70 years, and if you use Israel as the marker for the rapture, depending on if you use 1947 or 1948 uh, with the rebirth of Israel, then at the very la latest, the generation will uh, be over in mid-2018. Uh, well, here we are, 2016. So using, using that as a marker, we're already into the tribulation period. And a lot of people are saying we're not. A lot of people are saying you know, that we're going to be raptured before the tribulation. Tell that to the people in Syria. Okay? You know, whether they're being robbed and raped and beheaded. If that's not tribulation, I, I don't know what is. So, um, with that, love you guys. I just want to pass this word along. And, uh, you know, don't be so quick, you know, to blame people if your comments don't show up. But at the same time, expose it. And uh, because if you don't, let other people know what's going on and they'll falsely accuse the channel owners and even some are dirty um, you know like you know Cleck and uh, this Pastor Dow guy that I'm after with the black Hebrew Israelites that's you know palling up with the Christians but yet bad mouthing the Christians and butting up with uh, and supporting guys like Louis Farrakhan which is a racist and stuff um, you know so we, you know, don't be afraid to expose the lies and deception, but at the same time, don't be afraid to pat your brothers and sisters on the back. They're doing a good job. So with that, God bless you, and be well. And if I can do anything in the world for you, please let me know. Okay? That's what we're here for. Take care now. Bye-bye.